Hey, how's it going in today? I just wanted to show you how you can get text input from a user. So what we have here is just, there's a text block here and I can go to get text input and I hit enter and it says this is a way to get text input and then if I want to just clear it I just hit this button and reset it. What I'm trying to do is create a system where the user can input something and it gets stored in an array but this is just the first part of that showing you how to get the user input. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to start new, go to file new project and we'll just do first person. It just takes a second to load up as always. There's not a lot of tutorials around about this and that's one reason why I'm doing this is that I couldn't really find one on user input like this. To get started on this, we're just gonna go into user interface and make a widget blueprint user. We don't need to call it anything special. And then I'm just gonna get four things, a canvas panel, and then I'm just going to get some text here and I'll make this kind of big. So I'll come down to font and make it big, bigger like that size content like that, put it over here, and then I'm going to get a button, turn it down here on the canvas panel, and then I'll get some text for the button. I'll put it on top of the button so it's a child. And then the next thing we're going to get is this thing that's called editable text. It's called a text box. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put this right over here and we can make this a little bit bigger. And then here for the button, I click on the button, I can drag the button over here and I can size it to content. And for the text on the button, it's just going to say reset. And that's it. That's pretty much everything there. I can kind of straighten some of this up here a little bit. On this editable text, you can put some hint in here. So you can put enter, then press enter. And I believe here under the, is it the background? We can drop the opacity down so that it can be seen. That's what it'll look like. Okay, so then all we have to do is we click on the editable text and we're going to come all the way down here to the bottom and where it says on text committed. And just double click that and that pops us over here. And so what we want to do now is just set the text on that on that text box that we have but I just realized if go back here click on the text block, I need to set it as a variable. So let me compile and save that. Now if I go back into the graph, I can drag this onto the scene, click it, and then I can search for set text. But all we have to do, this is actually pretty simple, I'll put this into here, and this into here. And that'll set our text. And then the last thing we can do is we can just copy this, control D, and then we can come over here and make a variable. This is kind of a cheat, but I can just call this no value, and we can set it to text. We can make it public if we want. I guess maybe we shouldn't make it public. Okay, and then compile and save. And then for the default value, we just leave it blank. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the designer. We're going to click on the button here and come down here to on clicked. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to plug this into here and get our text variable here, get value and plug it into there. And that will be our reset function. And then the last thing, all we have to do is go into our first person blueprint here an on event begin play we're just going to go create widget and set this to our new widget blueprint and then we just have to go add to viewport and just plug this in like that 
And if I hit compile and save, it should work. So I can close this. So I go play. And here is our text. And so this is a way to get user input into your game. And I hit enter. Of course, it goes off the screen. I need to put auto wrap on it. And then if I want to redo it, I can just set this and that clears it. That's all I had for today. So like I said, I plan to do a tutorial on how to put this into an array. So that'll be coming up later this week. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.